Hi guys, welcome to FA TV. I'm Adam from the Football Republic. And I'm Rory from the Chelsea Fans Channel. We are here at glorious Wembley Stadium to pick our Emirates FA Cup Team of the Weekend. Obviously got a starting goal, Rory. Yes. I think the man who has to be between the sticks is Ross Flitney from Eastleigh. He, he played blinder. He kept them in the game and looked yeah. fantastic. Made three or four fantastic saves. Yeah. I think honourable mention to Bobby Olijnak. I'm yeah. sorry if I butchered your name. Exeter goalkeeper, made a great point blank save against Christian Mateke. Didn't keep a clean sheet, but still very impressive. Very impressive, and again, he gets now to go to Anfield. I think that that's a really lucrative replay. So yeah, fingers crossed uh, they can restore some magic to the cup. In defence, right back, one obvious player is Hector Bellerin. Yes, uh, I think he's on fantastic form. He really is looking great and arguably the best right back in the league at the moment. Uh, it pains me to say it as a Spurs fan, but yes, best right back in the league. Fantastic player, always a threat down that right side, has to be in the team. Yeah. Centre backs, a little bit more difficult. There wasn't any necessarily standout performances, but Kurt Zuma we've gone for. Yes, I think Kurt Zuma really does deserve his place in this team. He's a master of that position. He really is such a natural centre half and his performance was flawless. So I think he's a future Chelsea captain. Wow, heard it here first. Uh, the other centre back is Sebastian Prodel from Watford. Kept a clean sheet against Newcastle, who were dangerous for spells in the game. He was rock solid. Has to be in there again. Has to be in there, yeah. He had a very, very solid game. He seems to be a very cultured player. Seems, you know, very good at the physical stuff, but also a good ball player. Uh, left back, we're going for Brian Oviedo. He did play at right back for Everton, but we're going to crowbar him in in his usual position. Set up the opening goal. It's his first start since November. Obvious choice. Yeah, he's a, he's a really good player and it's nice to see him back. Been out for a while and yeah, he looked good. Right, moving on to midfield. First up, Ruben Loftus Cheek. What a man. Only what on for 45 man. minutes, but impressed? Yeah, very impressed. He's he's such a fantastic midfielder, such a, such a natural presence in there. And he scored a, an excellent goal. He took it brilliantly. And there were shades of Frank Lampard, the way that he arrived late in the box. And, and also shades of Michael Essien. I think we have a star in the making. Uh, alongside him, we're going to have Martin Samuelson, Peter Brugge, goal scorer, open the scoring against Preston. Uh, very impressive. He was on loan from West Ham, 18 years old, got a bright future. He seemed to relish the challenge, but also uh, put his foot on the ball and knock it about nicely. Finally, we've got to have him, Kimar Roof, the Oxford United player, scored two against Swansea, the biggest upset of the weekend. They won 3 2 in the end, Oxford United. It's lovely to see that. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the FA Cup, and uh, that is one of the reasons why. I love to see things like that. And uh, yeah, unlucky Swansea, but. Oxford, well played. So we're going to go with three forwards up front, right forward, Tom Nichols. Open the scoring for Exeter against Liverpool. We played fantastic the whole game. Nobody can ever take that away from him now. He scored against Liverpool in the FA Cup. And now gets to go to Anfield. Hopefully he can replicate that performance there. Hopefully he can. Uh, left forward, we're going to go with Joel Campbell. Uh, competing with Hector Bellerin as a man of the match against Sunderland. Scored the opening goal with a fantastic finish. Set up Hector Bellerin to assist the second goal. Great performance. Great performance, and I, I'm slightly worried about this guy. I feel like he may have the minerals to go on and uh, yeah, become a really, really well-established centre forward. Finally, up front, we're going to have Sergio Aguero. What else can you say? He scored a fantastic opening goal against Norwich. It was a threat for the whole game. Best striker, best player maybe in the Premier League. He can score, you know, he can pick up the ball and run with it. He can score with his head. He can score from outside the box, inside the box. He really is one of the most complete forwards I've ever seen play the game. Right, there you have it, guys. That is our Emirates FA Cup Team of the Weekend. Who did we miss out? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to FA TV for more football goodness. Come over to the Football Republic if you want to check out our channel. And come and say hello to me on the Chelsea Fans channel. See you later.